Happy Knitters and welcome back to my channel. So if this is your first time viewing my channel, welcome. And if you like what you're seeing, please, please subscribe and like and comment below. Uh, let me know if there's something specific that you would like to see in future videos. So in this video, I thought it'd be a great uh, idea to do a what's in my bag video. And this is in regards to what I carry in uh, my knitting bag when I'm going for quick travels and things like that. I'm not specifically gonna go into what each of the tools actually do, but if that's something that you would like to see, please comment below and I'll be sure to do a tutorial on some of the items that you guys pick out that you wanna know exactly how they work. So let's see what's in my bag, thanks. So this particular bag is a bag that I sewed together myself. I picked out the fabric um, and I think it turned out pretty good and it's something that I use all the time. So um, in this particular bag, I keep basically the tools that I use for my knitting projects. Um, so these, this is my go, these are my go-to tools. So the first thing I want to show you is going to be crochet hooks. I've got two different sizes and these are good for if you drop stitches, um, you can use the crochet hooks to pick those stitches up. Um, the next thing that I have in my bag is going to be a set of darning needles. Um, one's a little bit shorter than the other. They came in a set and this is just an inexpensive uh, plastic variety and it actually gets the job done. The next thing in my bag is one of my favorite tools. Um, it's a pair of scissors that I got from Knit Picks. And the thing I like about these scissors are that they can fold in and slide in and then you don't have to worry about uh, the scissors punching holes or poking holes into your bags. So it's a great safety feature too if you've got kids around. Um, this next thing in my bag is going to be uh, a digital row counter. Now I have a couple of different types of row counters but this particular one will hold up to three different projects and I like, to, I like that so I actually keep that in my bag and I like the fact that it has a strap around it so you can put it around your neck if you need to. Um, next up is a set of stitch holders. I've got a large one and a small one so depending upon what project I'm um, knitting it may call for that. And next up is another row counter. Um, it's a, a mechanical row counter and you just kind of press the top button and that takes care of advancing your numbers. And I have also have another set of darning needles. These are the straight tipped um, variety and um, I just have an extra set of those. Don't really know why, but I do. So now we have a little box that I use for my stitch markers. Um, it's something that I've, I got when I first started knitting. So it holds a variety of different stitch markers. The locking stitch markers that you can kind of undo. The solid stitch markers. So just a variety of different things. Um, these are also some more stitch markers. I think they're called floops. Um, I've got these I believe off of eBay years ago. And they may still sell these. So these come in vari a different variety of colors and sizes. So I like to keep those around just to kind of you know change up the stitch markers when I feel like doing so. And then lastly I have um, another set of stitch markers. So I do keep a variety of stitch markers in my bag just in case. Um, you just never know. And I do have other stitch markers that are not uh, shown in this bag. They're located in my, my bigger stash of tools. So the one thing that is not featured here is going to be my tape measure. Um, if you guys have any kids in the house, you know that once you have your, your knitting projects out, they want to come over and grab all of your stuff. So anyway, my two-year-old um, had my stitch marker during the recording of this video, so I don't have it. But it is um, my tape measure, I'm sorry. But it is something that I definitely use uh, consistently. Um, so that's definitely a, a really important um, tool to have in your bag. So these are the things that I just take with me um, when I'm running out and about. I do have other tools um, that, that are not featured here, but this is kind of my main component of what I consider my go-to. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.